The Tongue Cut Sparrow. A long time ago, in a tiny village in Japan, lived a little old woman with her little old husband. One morning, the old woman woke to find a sparrow sitting on her doorstep, shivering with cold. The woman gave the sparrow something to eat and held the tiny bird against her breast in the morning sun until its feathers were warm and dry. So grateful was the sparrow that it launched forth with a song of thanks. The song went on all through the day. It was the most beautiful song the old woman and her husband had ever heard. The next day, the sparrow returned to sing its song of gratitude. And the same thing happened the day after and the day after that. On it went, and that beautiful song never failed to give the old couple absolute joy. But to the cranky old woman who lived next door, it gave something else. It gave her a headache. She hated every warble, loathed every note. That bird song's driving me mad. Morning after morning, she paced back and forth, pillow over her head, fingers in her ears, head inside a rice pot, until she could stand it no longer. She marched next door with her scissors. She grabbed hold of the tiny sparrow and cut its tongue. The little bird was so shocked it flew away there and then, much to the delight of the cranky neighbor. The little old woman and her little old husband waited and hoped, but they never saw or heard the sparrow again. So they decided to look for it. They packed a bag and set off, over a mountain and through valley, all the while asking anyone they met if they'd seen that sparrow. A sleepy bat waved them up a hill and over a bridge. A nervous field mouse directed them on through woods and across a meadow. Finally, they came to the home of their good-hearted friend, the tongue-cut sparrow. The little bird was overjoyed to see them. He welcomed them into his home. He introduced his family and bade them sit while a great feast was prepared. And while they waited, he performed the very difficult and extremely complicated sparrow dance in their honor. After dinner, he asked his wife to bring forth two baskets. One basket was large, the other small. I wish you to choose one basket to take with you. Thinking the large basket might be filled with all the sparrow's treasure, the little old couple pointed to the small one. We have a long journey and we are old. Please let us take the small, light basket, they said. And so it was that they bade a happy farewell, knowing that their friend the sparrow was alive and well. When they arrived home, they peeked inside the small basket and were astonished by what they saw. It was a bounty of treasures, priceless silks and precious gems, more than enough for them to live richly for the rest of their lives. But they weren't the only ones to see what the basket contained. The cranky old woman next door, who besides being cranky was an A-grade busybody, had been peering in their window. Her eyes grew wide as she saw the dazzling riches inside. The next day, she arrived on their doorstep full of pretend sorrow. I am so sorry I cut the tongue of your much-loved sparrow. Please tell me where he nests so I may deliver my apologies in person. And so it was that she huffed up the mountains and puffed across bridges until she too arrived at the home of the tongue-cut sparrow. Naturally, he was not so pleased to see this old woman, but he showed her the same hospitality. She feasted well, she enjoyed the sparrow dance, and she was presented with the same two baskets to choose from. Now, really, no one could claim to be surprised by her choice. No one could say they'd be startled to see her struggling through the woods with a monstrously large basket, but the old woman didn't care how heavy and difficult it was. All she could think of was the riches that lay inside. As soon as she got home, she drew the curtains and rubbed her bony old hands with glee. She opened the large wicker basket and peered in. Suddenly, a whole swarm of creatures, bugs and beetles, biting and stinging insects of every kind imaginable, immediately flew out. They pushed and pulled and scratched with all their might. The cranky old woman inched her way towards the window. She opened a screen, hoping that the horrible insects might scuttle out. And indeed they did, with her in her tow. In the years that followed, the old couple sat outside their house and never ceased to marvel at the beauty of the world and the joy of the bird songs. From time to time, they did wonder what had become of their cranky old neighbor. But as it happens, she was never seen or heard of ever again. <laughs>